Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore hemophilia, causes, symptoms and diagnosis. Hemophilia is a rare disorder in which the blood doesn't clot in the typical way because it doesn't have enough blood clotting proteins or clotting factors. If you have hemophilia, you might bleed for a longer time after an injury than you would if your blood clotted properly. Small cuts usually aren't much of a problem. If you have a severe form of the condition, the main concern is bleeding inside your body, especially in your knees, ankles and elbows. Internal bleeding can damage your organs and tissues and be life-threatening. Hemophilia is almost always a genetic disorder. Treatment includes regular replacement of the specific clotting factor that is reduced. Newer therapies that don't contain clotting factors also are being used. Severe cases of hemophilia usually are diagnosed within the first year of life. Mild forms might not be apparent until adulthood. Some people learn they have hemophilia after they bleed excessively during a surgical procedure. Clotting factor tests can reveal a clotting factor deficiency and determine how severe the hemophilia is. Signs and symptoms of hemophilia vary, depending on your level of clotting factors. If your clotting factor level is mildly reduced, you might bleed only after surgery or trauma. If your deficiency is severe, you can bleed easily for seemingly no reason. Signs and symptoms of spontaneous bleeding include unexplained and excessive bleeding from cuts or injuries, or after surgery or dental work. Many large or deep bruises. Unusual bleeding after vaccinations. Pain, swelling or tightness in your joints. Blood in your urine or stool. Nosebleeds without a known cause. In infants, unexplained irritability. When a person bleeds, the body typically pulls blood cells together to form a clot to stop the bleeding. Clotting factors are proteins in the blood that work with cells known as platelets to form clots. Hemophilia occurs when a clotting factor is missing or levels of the clotting factor are low. Hemophilia is usually inherited, meaning a person is born with a congenital disorder. Congenital hemophilia is classified by the type of clotting factor that's low. The most common type is hemophilia A, associated with a low level of factor 8. The next most common type is hemophilia B, associated with a low level of factor 9. The main treatment for severe hemophilia involves replacing the clotting factor you need through a tube in a vein. This replacement therapy can be given to treat a bleeding episode in progress. It can also be given on a regular schedule at home to help prevent bleeding episodes. Some people receive continuous replacement therapy. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled postgraduate and graduate medical degree programs. For more information, please visit our website, named as British Biomedicine Institute. Hope you have gained a lot of clinical information through this presentation. Please like, share, subscribe British Biomedicine Institute channel. Good luck. Goodbye.